this is my sister and my friend. Amen. She's pressing her way through. I'm so proud of her. She's obeying God in this season. Amen. Amen. And she's going to introduce our speaker. And after that, we're going to have a solo by Evangelist Joyce Ruffus. And after that, you will be in the hands of our speaker. Thank you for allowing me to be here on tonight. Amen. And I thank God for all of you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, reverence the Holy Ghost that's in this position, in this building. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for the Holy Ghost being us on tonight. I know we're trying our bodies, as you say, first day of the week. Some of us just got off work, but I come to let God be God. Amen. tonight to be able to break bread with us to bring us the bread of life when I first thought about this conference I thought about elect lady Lakeisha Lee and let me tell you she got a bio but then I don't even have time to read the bio all I can tell you is she's a saved woman of God she's an elect lady she's a mother she's a woman that cares about God's people and I know that God is residing and resting in her and there's a word from God so I don't want to get in the way of the preliminaries because we could be all day talking about Resides, and that's all that matters to me. After that, that's all that matters to me. As long as she brought the Holy Ghost in your will, ah, that's all that matters to me. Who she was and what she did, that's, that's just for y'all. I'm not worried about that, but I come to let her give you a word. And I'm going to get in and get out of the way on tonight, but I want y'all to know she is my best friend. And I thank God for her. And I called on her and she said I'll do it. So I just want to thank God for her tonight. But before she comes, I want you all to put your hands together for an evangelist Rufus. Let her come in her own way of a soul. And after you heard her, I want you to rest on your feet in honor and respect to the very young elect lady, Lakeisha Lee. God bless you all. Open up your mouth and give praise. Praise is your worthy tonight. Say. She did an awesome job. The praise team. Yes. Everyone. Hallelujah. I want to say I'm a little. I, I have some 
a little friend with me tonight yeah. for about six weeks now. Right. So when I right. accepted the invitation, I didn't know what God knew. And I told Evangelist I'm coming anyway. My husband is on kingdom assignment and Tyler and the church has two engagements going on and some rehearsals. But I thank God for Minister Jones and Missionary Jones accompanying me on tonight. But we send our love all the way from Terrell, Texas, letting you know that we do support yeah. our own. Amen. But sometimes, you know, these schedules just don't line up yes. the way we like for them to. But God is good. Yeah. We have an awesome theme on tonight. And it said, joy. Yes. Jesus over you. Yeah. And I thought about that all, all the week long. And the Holy Ghost... I want to stop and say a word of prayer. If you don't mind resting on your feet for me one more time. Thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you right now for being in this place. We thank you, God, for moving by your spirit. We thank you for your word that's going to go forth. We pull down every stronghold that will come as a hindrance to your word. For we know that your word, God, will stand firm. God, it is our strong tower, God. And we thank you, God, even now. And we decree it done by faith. Let everyone say amen. 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 Sometimes we just got to go old school. Bring the Bible in your paper. Amen. Amen. But somebody's got their notes. Somebody's got their Bible. Somebody's got a tablet. You've got your phone. Either way, you can get to the Word of God. When you have it, say amen. Psalms 118 and 1. We're going to read that together. Going from the King James Version. And it reads together. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For He is good. His mercy endureth forever. If you're standing, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Right there with that scripture alone is a good place for us to give God praise. Because after all that I've been through, evangelists, I looked up and I raised my head to God this morning and I said, God, I still have joy. I choose Jesus over you. I choose Jesus over myself. After all Joy 
in difficulties because we realize that through happiness that might be fleeting just like our beauty is going to be fleeting and just like I was a size 6 and then went to a, a 10 and never made it back again but it's all good because what? I still have my joy joy, joy is not in responding to something but it is due to our anticipation of the ability of God we have joy when we anticipate the ability of our almighty God. Yes, so that when the wind blows and the breakers dash, we know that our soul is anchored in the Lord. Oh, church, tonight I still have my joy. If you've got your joy, you ought to slip your hand up and say, I still got my joy.
the same way that he opens it. If you notice in the book it says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endureth forever. He also ends the passage, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endureth forever. And I was wondering, why did he close the passage the same way that he opened the passage? And the Holy Ghost said the reason why he did that is because it takes what you did in the beginning to take you all the way to the end. That same praise that you had on the day that the Lord saved you, it's going to take you through the end. It's the same praise that you had when you got what you needed from the Lord. It's going to take that praise when you're waiting on the Lord. What do you mean the same praise that, that God gave you before the storm? It's the same praise that he needs you to have in the midst of the storm. The same praise that God gave you before you started having trouble. It's the same hallelujah that he needs to hear up in here tonight when you're in the midst of trouble. The same praise that took you up is the same praise that you need to give God to bring you out. That same praise is due to our God on tonight. It's that praise. I don't know why you're still sitting there tonight other than the fact that you've left your joy.
some people tonight that had left their joy behind because God is coming to renew joy because the joy of the Lord it is your strength on tonight somebody's just a little bit weary and well doing they said I've been pressing I've been pushing I've been toiling I've been tearing and it seems like it's just not working out for me but God said that he's going to let it work for your good. He's moving on your behalf. Somebody sowed a seed in the ground and guess what? It's turning around yes. for you. Jesus. You plant that seed in fertile ground, you water it, you nurture it, and you're going to have something to bloom yes. for you. In your due season. Yes. In your due season. Yes. But tonight God said we're going to lay hands and touch and agree and there's going to be a transference of joy yeah 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 a transference of strength on tonight your your troubles we're going to lay them down at the altar to never pick them up again your weariness your worry the stress is a killer a silent killer but god said you shall live and not die when we touch and agree i'd like for you to attach a seed with that when you sow the seed at the point of your need, God has no choice but to move on your behalf. The Holy Ghost said there's a $7 seed to attach to the need. Somebody said, First Lady, there is a woman in here that paid their bill today with the very last dime that they had. If you're not too ashamed, come let me touch your hands. You don't have it. You paid your bill with your very last dime today. I'm going to give that $7 seed for you. It's in the house. Sometimes we're ashamed. We don't want to move. But the Holy Ghost told me she's in the house. Maybe you just want to whisper it in my ear. I'll accept that. But don't deny the move of God. You're in the house. The Holy Ghost said you'll never be broke again. If you obey God. And line up, he's getting ready to give you a financial plan for your household. And you'll never be broke again. I'm a living witness. Someone walked up to me a Sunday ago and said, First Lady, the Lord told me to pay a bill for you. It caught me off guard, caught me totally by surprise. And it took me almost 20 minutes to even think of a bill that I had. And it's not because I'm a millionaire. But when you live for God, God will take care of your needs. I had to think hard. Yeah, yeah, I said, yeah. what bill do I even have to? All pastor has loose change is $7. My God. My God. I'm telling you, God. God is in this place. I wouldn't dare... I wouldn't dare miss this opportunity. I wouldn't dare miss this opportunity to get in. My God. My God. Get the best seed that you have. Whatever it is, get it. God is going to plant, plant it, plant it. Place it in my hand. God is getting ready to renew your joy on tonight. I don't care if it's a dollar. We know what he did with the woman. I don't care if it's three. You may want to connect up with somebody. I don't care if it's loose change. Just get it. God is getting ready to renew your joy.